This is a turquoise uh, brick separator. The shirt's not quite turquoise. It almost is. My uh, mother-in-law, <laughs> it was kind of like an annual tradition. Uh, she would, uh, on our anniversary, she'd get me a um, turquoise shirt. Uh, so I got a lot of turquoise sh uh, polo shirts and uh, otherwise. Uh, if I run out of t-shirts, I may have to go to the polo shirts. Hopefully we won't get to that point. Uh, but I, I have already figured that, because I had to wear polo shirts the last time I did this, I, I probably have a month of polos or something. Uh, but anyway, uh, this is not going to be about the Santa Fe Super Chief. It's not going to be about uh, necessarily the Canada Post truck. This is one from Beats, Brakes, and Bricks. Um, I'm sorry, I have... <laughs> I don't want, I got a lot of coffee mugs and I did, I just had it on display. He he said it still hasn't seen coffee yet. So, you know what? I might should do that. Um Yeah, I ha I didn't want to break. <laughs> yeah, I got a coffee mug that I use all the time that I got at Six Flags. It's a Speedy Gonzales coffee mug. I got that uh it's, it'll be th at least 30 years old, I think now. <laughs> And I've not broken it, but I did break my wife's coffee mug. So I I got to be careful with coffee mugs. That's why I put it here because I don't want to break it. But um, it's ironic too. Beats breaks bricks. <laughs> but so one one of the things I'm working on is uh, the other Canada Post truck. So I have this one. This is the little driver, and there's a bigger one that uses the same one by six printed bricks that are on this. Uh, but I didn't. I may have known it at one time, but I didn't realize that there was another printed brick, a two by four brick with a stripe pattern, and I don't have it. So if anybody knows where I can get that, it's a two by four white brick with a stripe pattern that was only in, not this Canada Post truck, but the other one. This is set 105, set 107. I have all of the pieces except for that. And I was like, I was going to do a video with the Canada Post trucks. And I was like, oh, of course, I don't have the instructions uh, for either. Uh, but I got this one from Beats, Breaks, and Bricks. And I think I did. <laughs> He's <laughs> pretty sure I did. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, I wanted to do the other trucks. I don't, I don't think I've done a video on the 107 truck. And again, I don't have the instructions for either. They're very hard. It's hard to find the instructions sold alone. And if you find the set, it's usually hundreds of dollars for the set, even though these are pretty simple sets. It's just those printed bricks, and it was only available in Canada, and then that 2 by 4 brick. And I was just like, I wish I was looking for this like 10 years ago. Oh, and there's always a possibility <laughs> that I already bought it. <laughs> it is somewhere down here in the basement. <sighs> so, uh, one of the other things. So, this video is just going to be kind of an update of things I've been accomplishing this month, the uh, doing the videos daily has really helped me to to get organizing and building things. Uh, I'm not anywhere close to where I want to be, but it is the shelf things has saved me a lot of times. And the next thing that I need to start organizing the boxes over there, I did take one box. I'm building a Technic set that was taking up space of one of the bigger shoebox containers. So I won't reveal yet what that is. I was building it. Is this is funny? I was. I, I there was a piece in there. It's a one one. This will probably help you figure out what set it is. But it's a it's a Technic brick. I think it's a, it's a plate. It's like one by five. But it's got to have the holes on the end. And when I pieced that set together, I got one of them wrong, and it was the solid one, which will not work on this set. And I was like, oh. So I had to stop there because and it was only available in like two or three sets. And so I was working on this to tie these together. I was, this is my Santa Fe B unit designed by James Mathis, who hasn't done anything with Lego trains in about 20 years. He was big with the Lego community in the late 90s and early 2000s. He's the designer of the Santa Fe Super Chiefs. He is, uh, was one of the main members of the North Georgia Lego Train Club. Uh, he got heavily involved later with the, um, we, what is that the thing the kids do <laughs> with the mind storms and stuff, <clears throat> first Lego league, um, moved out to Hawaii and he offered to sell me his collection about 10 years ago and 
I couldn't round up the money, and I regret. That's one of my biggest regrets in Lego. But anyway, he he designed a, a B unit for the Santa Fe Super Chief, and those instructions are on brick shelf. I will try to remember to put a link because these things are like nobody uses brick shelf anymore, and it's one of the I, I had the hard time going back and finding it again. So I'm going to try to put a link to the James Mathis instructions for the B unit. The reason I want to use, do the James Mathis instructions, because I feel it's the truest one to match the original Santa Fe Super Chief because he designed it. <laughs> there may be ones that you view as better, but anyway, so tied back to that Technic set, I'm missing a few elements on this. And so I was going through trying to find, and these are all old dark gray, old light gray colors. I was trying to find some of the elements for it. And wouldn't you know, I was looking for, I think it was some of the dark gray pieces. And I just happened to see a Technic box. And I said, oh, it's got some of those pieces that was in uh, the Technic set I'm building. And I looked, and sure enough, the blue piece was in there. And I was like, oh, thank goodness. So I can finish building that set, hopefully, unless I got another mistake somewhere else. Uh, but I'm very close to this. I just, <clears throat> I just need some 1x8 dark gray tiles a one by two dark gray tile and these rods these these rods uh they make them in light bluish gray i don't want light bluish gray i want the light gray i need four more of those and then i think everything else is done oh <clears throat> two grill piece pieces i should have a container that has the one by two grills i need two in light gray um i don't it's one of those pieces that I should have, and when you, they're surprisingly expensive uh, for a piece like that that should look that looks like a common piece. Uh, I've seen people selling them anywhere from fifty cents to two dollars. Uh, some some people got them for less. But the challenge with the parts that I need, so the one by two grill, the one by two dark gray tile, the two by the one by eight dark gray tiles, and the rods. I found a seller selling them all, but his prices were like ten times as much as anybody else. So that was frustrating. So now what I'm doing is I'm going through looking for people that are selling tipper parts, particularly the bucket. If they have the bucket and one of these parts, I'm going to buy from them. So, <laughs> and, and you know what's, what's funny is um, Barn Bricks, Keith's come out. I got those pieces, but this video will post five days after I filmed it. So, But I got, that's all I need. Those one, two, three, four, five plus fours. I need nine pieces because I got the roof done except for those two pieces. The bogies are done and then the piece that goes under. Oh you know I could actually probably put this on here then. I don't remember which hole it's supposed to go in. Put it in this hole! Why don't you go in your hole? It doesn't feel right but I guess it is right. I don't know. Put it on the third one. I'll have to look at the finished I guess that's right. So yeah, I'm very close. Like it's almost done. Like if you look at it from this side, it's kind of done. <laughs> but I'll have the B unit, which means I need to do a whole thing with all of them running now. And this one could probably be motorized with a double motor. Why is this catching here? Let's see. Okay, that's good. But yeah, so that's... I, <laughs> Here's the thing. I pieced this together using parts from the limited edition Santa Fe Super Chief. Probably not the best use of a rare set that is limited only to 10,000. This was number 7994, I think. So used what pieces go to it. Had to source a lot of others. There's a whole bunch of pieces that aren't used, and I put them back in the original box. So I think what I need to do <laughs> is buy a regular edition Super Chief. <laughs> I don't know. This is, anyway, yeah, so that's one of the uh, things I've been working on. Another thing I've been working on is I got my the Stuplo set done. <laughs> um, what was this other? Oh, this is these are parts to the Canada Post truck. Uh, I, I am in current process of treating the, uh, the white bricks uh, for it because they were pretty bad shape. And then... I got all the bricks that go to this set. It's set 157. Brick Trains has done a video on this. 
the, so I got all the, the, the Lego bricks. I think I got vintage bricks here. We'll be doing something on that as well. So we may do a video going through these containers, uh, one or so containers at a time. Some of them are very uninteresting. Some of them are extremely interesting. Some of them are partial sets. Uh, some are complete sets. Some are, I don't know what they are. Some have sets that I stole pieces from, like the sea cow. <laughs> There's light gray. I need to take all of these light gray pieces and group them together. So when I was looking for parts for the Santa Fe Super Chief, I, can't, I don't know why I didn't just go ahead and group them together then. I had this box. This box has light gray. It's like I remember where they are. That's light gray. There's a light gray there. Um, yeah, I kept going. That one had light gray. And, yeah, I kept going to these boxes. And then, then here's the plates over here. <laughs> I just I never sorted them. It's like, why am I not sorting these as I go through? Now, this is one. Oh, what is in this box? Oh, there's some of those doors. Why are they in there? Now, I think this is part of a train station, and then the car and the locomotive is somewhere else. Which train set is that? So that, that's taking up a lot of space for not much in that container. So that's the types of things that we got uh, to go through. This is a box here from when I was making mosaics. So there are tile pieces in here. And oh, this is this is when I was going to make another um, minifigure like so stupid. Uh, they didn't <clears throat> have many pearl or not pearl. These are uh, the metallic gold. I was going to make the space logo. This was like the only metallic gold pieces they had back in the day. Never did it. Uh, so these are parts that can probably go back into the store. Probably have to go in as used parts. There, it's just taking up the whole container. <clears throat> So, future video, uh, Santa Fe Super Tra Chief with the B unit, may or may not power it, but either one. anyway, this is more of an update video, uh, I will be uh, looking at some of these things, I, 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 be warned, be warned, if you follow the channel, there will be Duplo videos, <laughs> and there will be fabulous <laughs> videos, uh, but there are also going to be train videos, and if I'm back tomorrow, it'll be in a different shirt. Hopefully more interesting than a plain, almost turquoise shirt. I didn't even talk about Rock Raiders. What was I thinking wearing this shirt? I got other turquoise shirts, so we could we could have a Rock Raiders video, I think. I'm sure I got something Rock Raiders down here. See you guys.